Um, nine five. We are doing congruence transformations. So congruence meaning congruent figures and transformations, um, rotations, reflections, glide reflections, translations. Did I name them all? Um, so we're taking that kind of putting pieces together. Um, this one can be challenging to figure out which two things will go together. But you need to really think about the whole opposite orientation versus same orientation. If there is opposite orientation somewhere, there has been a flip, right? Um, so look for a reflection if you see opposite orientation. If you see the same orientation, there is no flip or it flipped twice, okay? So um, we are going to look at number one here. It says the composition, meaning multiple things happening together. Um, can you tell me what this says? Rotation of N. No, no, no. A reflection over line N. What's the dot? After a rotation of 90 degrees around point P. Which of those do you do first? The rotation, okay? Um, so this is saying this happened, okay? We rotated this figure. 90 degrees, it became this figure, and then we reflected it over this line, and it became G, H, J, K, okay? The question is, which angles are equal and which side lengths are equal? Now, here's what I recommend you do. When you see that this first one rotated, this point L is now going to be right here. I would write those points in. Um, point M is going to be where? Above, down, to the left, to the right? Above. Above. Now M is right here. Okay. N would be up here, and O would be right here. Now when you look at it as a reflection, it's easier to see which points match up. And the next thing I would do, if I were you, is I would mark congruence for the sides. So I know that LO is congruent to GK, I know that LM is congruent to GH. I know MN is congruent to HJ. And if you want to do the fourth one just for the fourth one's sake, you are welcome to do that too. So now your job is figure out which angles match up and which sides match up. Well, we just showed which sides do. The angles will fall between the same congruent segments, okay? So if I said um, angle G, that's congruent to what angle? Angle L. Um, angle H is congruent to angle M. Um, and again, if you want to mark it, like you can mark those congruent too if that's helpful to you. Double arc with double arc. J would be congruent to N. And then the last one, K, would be congruent to angle O. So you need to just think through the rotation and the flip and think where would matching parts line up, okay? And then side lengths, you're doing the same thing. We'll say GK is congruent to what segment? LO. LO, okay, or OL, doesn't matter. Um, HG would be congruent, so double mark here with double mark here, LM. HJ corresponds to MN, or NM is fine. And then the last one, what haven't I done? JK is congruent to ON or NO. Okay, so it's just seeing it as this matches up perfectly with what figure, okay, um, once you do the transformation. Okay, so here's how this works. Two figures are congruent if and only if there is a, sequ a sequence of one or more. So it can be one transformation or it can be multiple transformations, but it has to be rigid motion. What is rigid motion? 
rigid motions means you have congruent figures, okay? Um, so all the sides match up, all the angles match up. They are identical figures. They preserve distance and they preserve angle measure, okay? Okay, um, so let's look at this picture. I want to know which pairs of figures are congruent and what is the sequence of rigid motions that maps one onto the other. Now, there are multiple ways you can do this because they don't tell you which figure is the starting, your pre-image, and which one's the image, your ending figure, okay? Um, so you might get a totally different answer than your neighbor, and that would be okay. Really? What are you doing over there, Micah? Just laughing. She's laughing at whatever you're doing. I'm not doing anything funny. <laughs> so, um, thank you. <laughs> Nobody thinks I'm funny, though, so that's just a lie, <laughs> really. That is nice. But I know I'm not, so it's okay. Um, I, have other high, I have other good qualities. And I'm okay with that. I don't need to be funny. Um, I love what? I love the smell of lemons. Is that your good quality? <laughs> good. Okay. Anyway, um, so when you are doing this, just pay attention to which figure you're starting at and which one you're moving to because you could say... You could flip them, and your rule is going to be totally different, okay? Okay, um, so let's start with, which one do you want to start with? The triangle. Okay, we'll start here. Triangle, and I'm going to start with this triangle, okay? Um, so if I'm looking at triangle EDF, and I obviously need to get to the other triangle then, does anyone see what's happening? Is it a translation? Is it a reflection? Is it a rotation? Is it a glide reflection? Sure looks like a rotation, right? Um, do you know what you're rotating around? The origin. Yeah, if I rotate here, um, take your iPad and just do this. You should see the exact same, right? 180 degrees, you should see the exact same two triangles. That's how you know. It's 180. Um, so we would say a rotation of 180 degrees around the origin, we're just going to call it O, um, of triangle EDF would be what triangle? M L. N. Okay, so that's the red rule. Okay. Um, let's do this one. I feel like this one's pretty easy. PQ and HG. Now, you could start at either one. They don't tell you which one's your pre-image, so pick one as a pre-image. Where do you want to start? PQ. PQ. Okay, so if we're going to start at PQ and we're going to go to HG, what would you say is happening? What rule? What uh, transformation? What transformation? A translation, right? It's just a slide. We're sliding to a new place. So if we're at P and we want to get to H, we'd have to go two to the right and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down. So we would say a translation of positive two, negative nine. Okay, now if I had gone from the other one, from H to P, what would my translation be? negative two, positive nine, okay? So it definitely matters which one you start at and where you go to in how you're naming it. Um, but if we're going from PQ, we would say of segment PQ will be segment HG, okay? So far so good? Yes. Okay, now look at these last two. And again, you can get different answers here. It just depends which one you're starting with and which one you're ending with. Um, and with, well, tell me what you see. Shape. It looks like a reflection, yes. And it's got a slide somewhere to get that reflection to match up, right? So this is going to be a glide reflection. Now, here's the deal. You can do the glide first and then the reflection, or you can do the reflection first and then the glide. It just, as long as you name it correctly, it's fine. But they're going to look different depending on how you do it. 
okay? Um, so I would say, in my head, I'm going to do the, the translation, the glide part first. Is that what you would prefer? Or I can do it the other way, if you like it the other way better. It is, right. Um, okay, so let's glide. If we're going to glide somewhere, where would you glide? If we're going to start, which one do you want to start with? Okay, so if we're going to start with this triangle, okay, this is our pre-image. Where would we need to slide? Down. We're going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have to go down five. Do you want to slide over at all? No. You can. You can. You don't have to, okay? You could just go straight down. I would slide just so that you don't have to reflect over a half. But you don't have to. If you want to reflect over a half, go for it. I would move over. What are you doing over there? Okay. Okay. Um, so if you slide over, I would do... Now, this is not our rule yet, okay? Because we have two things to do. But we're going to do a, a slide, a translation of... Negative one, right? One to the left and five down. Okay? We're also going to then reflect over what line? Y, X axis. Not the X axis. Y, y axis. No. X equals negative one. Right. This line right here. Right? Because we just took Y and we brought it down here and put it right here. If we're going to do that, we have to reflect over, oops, this line. Y? Y is negative one. No, that's X. no, the vertical is X. Horizontal is Y equals, right? Because your Y value isn't changing on a horizontal. It's your X value that doesn't change on a vertical. Okay, so these are the two things. We need to write it appropriately so that it makes sense. So which one comes first when you write it? The reflection. Um, so you're going to say a reflection over x equals negative 1 after a translation of negative 1, 5, negative 5, sorry, negative 1, negative 5 of, and what letters come first here? The x, w, z, y, x, w, z, y will be, and now here's where you got to match up your part. So if it's x, w, z, y, then on your other one, it is B-A-J-C. B-A-J-C, yes. Lots going on there. That one's a bit of a doozy, isn't it? I don't usually give you ones quite that hard. Um, questions on that? Okay. So these are called um, congruence transformations because you have congruent figures throughout. Okay, congruence transformations um, because everything about them matches up. Their angles will be congruent. Their sides will be congruent. Um, so two more of these. Can you tell me the congruence transformations? Now I'm telling you which one from from which one to which one, right? I want JQV to map onto EWT. So we're starting here, okay? Um, can you see how we can get from there to EWT? Now look at how we named it, JQV. JQV is going counterclockwise, EWT, is going clockwise. So what is happening here? There is a reflection somewhere, okay? Um, because we can't just flip, it has to be a glide reflection. So we need to come up with where did we glide and where did we reflect, and then we can write the rule for it, okay? Um, where would you like to glide? Uh, up. Northeast. Up. Northeast isn't going to work for me. Um, so I'm going to go from Q, okay, to W, right? The middle letter has to match up with the middle letter. 
So if I start at Q and I have to go match up with where W is going to be, I know I need to go one, two, three, four, five up. For me, I would stop there. If you want to, you don't have to. You could slide two to the left also, okay? Um, but I would just stop there for ease sake. Um, so it's a slide of, how would we write that if we stop right here? The other way, zero, five, right? Zero left and right, five up. Okay, then if I'm stopping here, where am I reflecting? Across the x axis. The other one. The y axis. The, y -axis, the vertical axis. Okay, so if it is a glide reflection, right? We glided and then reflected. We write the reflection first. So it's a reflection over the y-axis after a translation of 0, 5 of triangle JQV will be triangle EWT. I thought, if you say y-axis, I thought it was the x-axis. No, if you say y equals a number, what? right? So y equals 0 is the x-axis. Oh, y equals zero. Right. If okay. I say y-axis, I'm talking about the y-axis, oh. right? Very confusing. Yeah, so you could, yeah, that's a good point. You could write this as a reflection over x equals zero, if you like that better. Oh. <laughs> yeah, either way, y-axis or x equals zero. Okay? I like axis better just because <laughs> we know. Okay, last one. What is a congruence transformation that maps NAV, so starting at the black one, moving to the blue one, BCY, okay? NAV is going clockwise. BCY is going which direction? Counterclockwise. So there is a reflection happening, okay? Um, what would you do? It is a glide reflection. Okay, where would you go? So we're going from black to blue. What would you do? Move it where? Start at V and go over. Over how far? Okay, so five to the left is negative five. Would you stop there? You want to keep moving? Stop. You can stop there. I would stop there. You don't have to. You can move down too, um, but it's going to change what you're doing. So your translation is going where? Negative five, zero. Negative five, zero. Okay. And then if we do negative five, zero, what are you reflecting over? The x-axis. The x-axis or the line y equals zero. Okay. So x-axis or y equals zero. So we would say this is a translation Nope, sorry, I'm writing that backwards. A reflection over the x-axis after a translation of negative 5, 0 of triangle NAV will be triangle BCY. Okay, so it's not really new. It's just a little more... Uh, fancy, I guess, in how you have to come up, you have to choose which one. Yesterday we said, these are glide reflections. Now name it. Now you got to figure out what is it and then name it. Give me the rule. Okay. Um, no, I feel like you'll see some, you know, like up here we had a rotation, we had a translation, we had a glide reflection. Um, it's just glide reflections are usually the hardest for people to name, so I spend a little more time on those, but you, they can be any of them.